Welcome to the Mitchum History Notes YouTube channel. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. In this video I'm going to show you a map from 1934 and I'm going to follow where the boundary went and it might surprise you which parts were included in Mitchum at that time. Anyway, enjoy. This map is from a 1934 official guide produced by the Borough of Mitchum. It's not facing due north, it's slightly turned to the left. It does show the boundary of the urban district that the borough inherited. It's a line of dots and dashes. At the bottom of the screen you can see Merton Abbey Station which was to the west of the boundary and so not in Mitcham. We can see here then that Christchurch Road is in Mitcham, as is Prince George's Road, going up towards Collier's Well Underground Station. Which isn't shown on this map. But you can see where the dotted and dashed line goes across the high street through the middle of Wandle Park. From Collier's Wood High Street heading east, the boundary is now following the route of the River Graveney. And then the boundary goes north on the east side of the Mitcham Road. And then takes a sharp right just south of Southcliffe Road above Seeley Road. Which takes in the Lynx Road estate of the ABC Roads, Ascot. Boscombe, Cromer, Deal, Eastbourne, Frinton, Gunton, Alsham, Ipswich and Jersey, all the way up to the Stratton Road. After it crosses the railway lines, the boundary no longer follows the River Graveney. The boundary takes in the top of Grove Road at Lender Road and includes Greyhound, Terrace and Hassocks Road. The boundary then goes up and down again and across the Northborough Road. So half of Northborough Road is in Mission, the other half is not. Then it goes across the Pollard's Hill Golf Course. The roads are marked out with dashes, haven't been built yet. So Galpins Road, as far as South Lodge Avenue, was in Mitcham. The boundary then extends down to a road leading from Commerside East, across the sports ground, down to the Mitcham Road. For some strange reason, when the boundary crosses the Mitcham Road, it goes a bit to the east and back again. And then where it says UDC boundary is below the dash line there of the Red House Road leading to Brook Mead Road at the junction of Bennington Lane opposite Bennington Lane Station. And it looks like Bennington Lane from the Croydon Road wasn't a made up road at that point. Here's a photograph of Bennington Lane Station and level crossing that Eric Montague took in 1974. The urban district boundary now goes from Bennington Lane, south of the railway line, across and over the railway line between Mitcham Junction and Hackbridge, and then rejoins the London Road at the end of the Carl Shorten Road. And where it crosses the London Road, it is north of Goat Road, but it looks as if the Goat Pub was actually in Mitcham at that point. The area bounded by Goat Road, Mill Green Road and London Road is part of Mitcham Common but it's now in the London Borough of Sutton. It's the only part of Mitcham Common which isn't in Mitcham. At the end of Willow Lane, the urban district boundary now follows the River Wandle. And at Bishopsford Road, it goes underneath the Mitcham Bridge. A very old bridge that was strengthened and then collapsed. And so it's been replaced. And the boundary continues along the River Wandle, south of the Ravensbury Park, underneath the road, Morden Road, through Morden Hall Park, shown here as Deer Park, because at this point in time it still belonged to Gilead Hatfield. He bequeathed it to the National Trust in 1941. And you see that the boundary does. Squiggly works its way through the, the park. The boundary crosses the railway line between what's shown here as Morden Station, which is now Morden Road Tram Stop, and continues along the Wandle at the side of Phippsbridge Road. And we come back to where we started at Merton Abbey Station. And if that map published in 1934 was oriented to the north correctly, this is how the boundary looked. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Press the like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave comments. And bye for now.